So there's one statistic about the Moss Giant Grind that I was supposed to show you guys. So this one is just the price check of the seeds I got from approximately 90,000 Moss Giants. So I've actually never done it, so this is going to be a first for me. Here we go. Wow, only 59 mil? You know what I mean? Killing 90,000 Moss Giants only results in 60 mil. I'm not even going to lie. I thought the seeds would amount to a bit more, but eh, you know, I guess it's decent. Yeah, 60. All right, that was a little monka. Would have been. Oh, nice. Sammy Hill. Let's get it. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, you know, this is the risk you gotta take. Hey, the risk paid off. Well, it wasn't like a stupid risk, but you know. That's a clean kill. Oh, let's go. Two Sammy Spears in one trip. You don't see that too often. Yo, 2.8k KC, uh, this task. Past 10 days, I've just been getting so many, uh, Sammy Balls tasks. Not bad, though, you know, I'm fine with that. Alright, uh, can I please kill it? Yay, suffering killed it for me. Oh, oh, oh my god! What the fuck? What? This is fucking crazy! Holy shit! What? Oh my god! God, okay, what? And an elite clue scroll too. What the? Okay, bro. I see it. That's crazy, bro. Two pets in two days. Seriously, this is such a rare pet. One in five thousand. The day before, one in three thousand. Not even gonna mention the tool seed a whole while, but in terms of just pet RNG alone. I've never seen anything like this, actually. I've never seen anything quite like this. I usually don't see this person too often, you know, but yeah. Can you believe it? Pet number 20 on such a, such a sick pet too, man. I wish I could bring two different pets out at once, man, honestly. But yeah, this is number 20, dude. 20. Can you believe that? Wow. All right, I've never talked to this guy before. I've never had this pet before, so yeah. How's life in the lights? Burns slightly. Uh, he he's uh tan sensitive, I guess. You seem much nicer than your father. He's mean. If you were stuck in a very dark cave for centuries, you'd be pretty annoyed too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Turn out, you know, he's actually quite quite chill, I guess. He's actually quite mellow, really. Oh yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, all those. All those yards, you know, says otherwise, but. So I just got an elf's task while I was pet hunting, and I realized that now that I pretty much finished all the elf city major goals, I should go ahead and get the eternal teleport crystal. They drop from the guards in elf city. So yeah, man, let's go and get it. Shouldn't take too long. Oh yeah, man, this spot's sick. Yeah, this, this would totally be the spot to try to get your crystal infinite teleport seed or whatever. Hell yeah. There's quite a few here. Oh, what the fuck? Nah, I'm just kidding. That's not it. This isn't it, right? <laughs> uh, for a second, I thought that was the, the right one. Haha. <laughs> oh! Yo! Yes! Let's get it. Enhanced Crystal Teleport Seed. Alright, so I thought, you know what? I might as well just get this last drop because it actually is very useful and uh, it didn't seem from what I've been told to be too rare. Yeah, enhanced crystal teleport seed. Awesome, awesome. Let me charge this up so I can, uh, you know, talk more about this a, a little bit. So between yesterday and today, I killed 700 elf city guards and I did like another 200 on the previous slayer task. So yeah, I ended up killing about 900 for it. But yeah, it wasn't too bad, you know? It was definitely the shortest grind of all time in Elf City, so. So it's time to charge this seed. So you can't use it until you charge it, so. And yeah, it costs 100 shards. That's actually quite a lot. But yeah, this is pretty much the uh, Elf Teleport Crystal, except it is the unlimited version. So I never, ever have to recharge this bad boy. Yeah, that's really nice. And uh, also, I'm gonna save myself some bank space because, yeah, I got a bunch of these, you know, and I don't need these anymore, so 
I'm gonna save myself two bank spaces, hell yeah. Throughout all of my Sokano grinding and Corrupt Gauntlet grinding, I have accumulated over 6,000 Crystal Shards. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to use them all if I were to use it, you know, for normal situations like Divine Potion making and like charging Crystal uh, Weaponry and Armor and stuff like that. So I have so much, what can I do with it for fun, you know? And there's one thing, and that is to open the Elven Crystal Chest. So I can use the Crystal Shards, 10 of them, and combine it with a Crystal Key, the one that you open in Tavli, to make the Elven Crystal Key. So I can use that to open the Elven Crystal Chest, which gives better rewards, and also a chance to get the uh, Rune Dragonstone Trim Armor. So I'm pretty curious, I want to try and open up some of these Elven Chests and see what I can get. So I'm gonna do 100 for now because that's about a thousand shards used. Okay, we found the chest. It's in the center of the town, second floor. Okay, let's uh, see. If you check it, it tells you. Oh, okay. I think that's the KC tracker. First one. Oh, yay! Rune light actually tracks it, so that's cool. Okay, let's keep opening it. I'll be back if we get anything cool or. What the? F I actually what? Come on, man, a shield left half, bro? That must be rare as hell, dude. What the hell? Whoa, crystal acorn. All right, cool. I was planning on getting some of these anyways. For my leftover uh, crystal seeds, weapon seeds or whatever, so. That's my first one of these. They'll be useful for some farm runs, just for the crazy XP and stuff and free shards. Wow, 500 gold or what the nani? Oh my god, why? Do you keep getting- Why do you keep getting these shield left halves, bro? Stop. So I just opened 108 Elven Crystal Chests and uh, I'm pretty addicted, so I'm gonna do another 100. But here's the loot so far from 108. So the biggest value is definitely from the Rune Ores. Um, you get you get a decent amount of alcohols and of course the dragon stones are worth a decent amount uh, Yeah, anyways, we made about six mil All right guys, this is actually insane dude. My crystal shards depleted so much One inventory. Oh dude, That is so much shards down the drain. God damn 270 shards. Bye. Bye. Just like that But you know what? I'm addicted. So it's okay. We're gonna stop here. 5,000 shards will last me a long time. And of course, just complete junk. Alright, time for the final loot from 200 plus crystal chests. So, here it is. Alright, so as the price goes, it just basically went up another uh, 6 mil. So, yeah, it seems pretty, pretty, uh, Consistent you make like six mil per 100 keys if you don't get the uh, unique item so But I did get a quarter about a quarter of my crystal shards back, which is pretty good So you get about 25% back Approximately, I think this is a good sample size from what I can gather But yeah, man interesting though. I think I got trolled quite hard though by the by the dragon stuff though unfortunately no Dragonstone Rune Armor piece. So is the Elven Chest worth opening? For most players, I would probably say no. Just because you can make more money off the shards if you just make Divine Pots. However, if you cannot make Divine Pots, then the next best thing to do is open up the Crystal Chest. You get about 6 mil per 1000 Crystal Shards. On an Iron Man account, I would say it's overall not worth it because you're better off using those shards, recharging your... Uh, crystal weapons, tools, and you know, making the vine pots. Whoa, rune pouch value? Oh, what? When did they do this? How much is that? One point five mil. Whoa, they just they just said, "Fuck it, you guys can just buy a rune pouch now for one point five mil." <laughs> All right, well, I'll try to buy it though. It won't let me probably. As an Iron Man, this item's not available. Okay, eh, false alarm. Oh my god, yes, dude. Holy shit, so worth it, man. So worth it. I actually got the Armadillo task. Oh man, I was really hoping I could test this out one more time, you know, with the TiVo only method, or I guess generally speaking, the no chin method. 
Because honestly, even the Armadillo crossbow has a lot of potential too. Surprise! What? Oh my god, what a troll. I was like, what just happened? Okay, we're, we're actually making a comeback. Oh, Elite Clue Scroll. I'm gonna go this way, I guess. Holy shit, you saw that shit? I just got teleported. The perks of letting the uh, wind blow you back to the, uh, away from the melee guy, you know? I gotta say, it comes in handy. Around 25, 26 kills on this first uh, trip of the second task of, you know, no chinning. I think I'm gonna stick with this setup here, uh, stick with the Fury, it's working out really well. And uh, maybe bring six brews instead, you know? I'll, I'll amp up the brews gradually, so I'm gonna bring six brews since I still somehow had two and a half restores, so... Give me some Mythal Grapples, thank you. Oh, it's nice, dude. I can get five of these a day from the Max Cape. Ooh, Armadale Helmet. I haven't gotten that drop in such a long time, but okay, five mil. Alright, just uh, did my second task of Armadale. In route to the pet, you know, with no chins, and um, I guess I would say I, I improved on the method a bit. Mainly just bring a bit more defensive set up, you know, with a fury and uh, bringing six brews, which helps a lot, you know. Just did about a uh, 30 kill trip, 31 kill trip. Still got some prayer left, so that means I probably go, you know, mid 30s or close to 40. And for usage, ammo wise, I think I used around close to 400 dragon arrows. So with Amethyst, it'd be around the same, but yeah, sure beats collecting, you know, a thousand plus retchins though. Yo, just hit 3,000 grotesque guardians. Damn, dude, we are actually at the rate, but you know, it's all good. Oh, that's sick, dude. When I'm frozen, I can still pick up the orbs. Easy game. That's actually sick. I didn't even... 3,000 kills later, and I, I realized that I can still pick up the orbs. Oh, 66, 70! Oh, damn, dude. That's so big. Oh, my God. 136 damage. Wow. So close. So close to hitting the 70, 70. 30 mil woodcutting recently. Very nice. After three months of persistent grinding, I'm proud to say that I am now complete with all the L City goals, some expected and many unexpected. So the first thing that happened was the completion of the Corrupted Gauntlet items. We got the Crystal Armor set, which turned out to be really good at Sire and Hydra. And then shortly after, around like 500 or so KC, I got the Blade of Saldor, which is best in slot single-handed slash weapon in the entire game, which turned out to be amazing at Small Devils and Theater of Blood. And then we started shifting a focus a lot at Sokano while working simultaneously on the Nature Staff grind. You know, since day one, the Nature Staff clue was uh, something that I got. <laughs> so yeah, we, we've been grinding two and a half months for this Nature Staff, dude. Absolutely nuts. Took 90,000 Moth Shine kills, man. Crazy. This was the curveball that pretty much extended the Elf City grind by probably a month. I'm not even gonna lie. And then in routes, I completed the Sokano goal, which was to get a Crystal Tool Seed so I can make the best skilling tools in the entire game. So I tested out the Crystal Pickaxe and the Crystal Axe. And let me tell you, the XP difference between Crystal and Dragon is actually insane. It's so good, like several thousand. At Redwoods, for example, it was over 10,000 XP difference. Absolutely nuts. And uh, also, uh, while we were grinding the Sokano, I ended up getting myself an Elven Signet, which it's actually complementary to the crystal tools as it saves charges while I uh, caught an impling on the way. So it was really, really cool. And uh, yeah, I ended up getting the uh, Eternal Teleport towards the end of this week. And some other unexpected things was the Basilisk Jaw update to make the Nature Slot Phase Curve. Came out of nowhere, but it's cool. You know, new Basilisk Slot Helmet. So that was really nice. Short and simple grind. And also, with every main grind that I do, I also work on some pet hunting on the side. And I'm proud to say that I ended up getting three pets on the way. So I ended up getting the Smokano, you know, in route to the Crystal Tool Seed. And uh, shortly after that, I think 10 days after that, I got the Smoke Devil pet. 
which we did earn, you know, went over uh, 5,000 KC for this thing, almost 2x try. And the day after, you're not gonna believe this, the Zambi pet, bro, this is actually the day after. Yeah, no fucking joke. A 1 in 3k pet, and then a 1 in 5,000 pet. I was like about 3,000 KC for this one, wow. Actually nuts, so yeah, that brings us to a total of uh, 20 unique pets. I don't even have a chompy pet, so it can be an easy 21, but you know, I don't count that. Alright, let me see if this ancestral recolor passed or not. Okay, yeah, the pause closed. Okay. Oh, ancestral robes ornament kit didn't pass. Damn, it almost passed. 1.1%. Alright guys, it's been a great three months since coming back on Mr. Armbar to work on Elf City. A lot of unexpected challenges, a lot of fun, and viewership on YouTube has never been better. So I thank you guys so much for watching the Elf City arc of Mr. Armbar. I'm really happy to have made the progress that we did in these three months for sure. And yeah, a lot of you guys enjoyed it, so that's, that's awesome. But anyways... As always, you know, all good things must come to an end. For now, Mr. Ironbar will be going on break once again until the next big update that will come out eventually, you know, so we can work on some more progress, you know, some big progress. You might be wondering, so when will we be back? I can't guarantee you an exact date at the moment, but I will say 100% next year. So the ancestral recolor thing for Twisted Lee was going to be something I worked on, but if they ever repull it and wherever it comes from, I'm definitely gonna go back with Mr. Ironbar for that. But RuneFest has revealed some really cool information about next year. So there is going to be a new big boss next year, and it's called Ashihana. So it's gonna be based in Mauritania in the slip or sleep place that currently doesn't have a lot going on, but it's going to be a boss that's like Corp in terms of mechanics. And the name stands for pretty much the Nightmare or something like that. So there's going to be, I guess, a uh, scary, nightmare, spooky theme type of boss. And unfortunately, they didn't tell us what the rewards are. They're actually going to make the community help them figure out what the rewards are. But I'm assuming it's got to be good enough rewards, right? For something of corp level, there's got to be some best and slots in there. So whenever that gets announced and the day is revealed, I'm 100% going to be playing on Mr. Ironbar once again for that. While Mr. Ironbar is on break, I will be working once again on the Solar Raid Specialist series featuring Huaman Raid, and I hope to finish the series this time around. So YouTube is still going to be packing new videos every week as always. So if you don't know about this series, I will post a playlist link at the end of this video so that way you can uh, keep up to date and you know follow up on this series because I guarantee you, you don't want to miss it. It's a really exciting series, and I hope as many of you guys can check it out if you haven't already. I promise you, you will like it. If you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing and ringing the bell so that way you don't miss any future videos from this series. Also, my friend's chat's open under Mr. Iron Bar, so you need a place to hang out, ask questions while you're playing the game. Mr. Iron Bar friend's chat is definitely the place to be. Also, if YouTube content isn't enough, I also stream on twitch.tv slash rice cup six days a week featuring progress of my characters more like behind the scenes of how you know the progress come to be so if you're interested definitely visit us over there on twitch.tv slash rice cup we have a really cool community over there as well and yeah that's it thank you guys so much take care as always bye bye